I got myself an early Christmas present. Check this out, it's a 125 millimeter Makita 40 volt circular saw. You cannot buy these in New Zealand. It's got Japanese writing all over it because I ordered it straight from Japan and it has a manual that's entirely in Japanese so I will not be reading that. But why did I buy this? I needed a smaller Makita 40 volt circular saw. In New Zealand, the smallest one they have is the one that I've been using in all my videos, the 185 millimeter. Quite often I'll be doing tricky little cuts and that big one is just a bit too clunky for them. I'm gonna send a shout out to Tools and Stuff. He reviews all sorts of Makita tools. If you wanna see more in-depth information about these tools, go check him out. He's the one who inspired me to get this. Now look at this. Look at that. You can get the blade right up to a wall. So this is your normal angle, right? Shift like that. But this here has a lever so you can go the other way. That's how you um, get under a wall if you take this off. Yeah, I've never cut like that with a circular saw before. I'm very excited. Class for the French doors. Now I am trying to get this done before Christmas, these double glazed windows. I told myself I'll get all the bedrooms double glazed before the break. But I am also trying something new and exciting for me, which is to actually ease into the holiday break. Every year in New Zealand we take a couple of weeks off. It's summer and Christmas and New Year, and that's when everyone has a holiday. But every December in New Zealand people work like mad trying to get everything done before that Christmas break. So I'm actively trying to resist that temptation that's drilled into me because there's plenty of time next year to do all these jobs. I mean, the silly, the silly thing about all this is in January, nothing ever happens. Like January, February, work is really slow. A milestone reached. Double glazed all the bedrooms. Yeah. You've done a great job. But this yeah. is it for the year, right? We, I think we're done. We're done for the year. We're done. Amazing. <laughs> Please do God, can we stop now? <laughs> beer. Beer. We, we have beer, would you like a beer? Yeah. Beer. All right, beer time. So, uh, the reason I wanted to make this video is, is a thank you basically. Thank you for watching and thank you um, for sticking with us while we changed everything. You know, where we live, the places we go, we still have to use Google Maps every time we go anywhere. Yeah. Um, every one of, you know, our friend group, we've had to make new friends. Nothing's been easy mode this year for us. And I've found it quite challenging to make the videos to be honest, to, to keep the YouTube channel up because when I started the channel, I had already been living that life in Auckland, you know, I, my, most of my adult life. So it was just like bringing the camera along to show a life that I, I know how to live. But here I've been trying to figure out my new life and make videos about it at the same time. So I hope my videos have been enjoyable. <laughs> Sum up this last year in a concise sentence. I just don't know that I can. Yeah. It's been everything. <laughs> It's been up and it's been down. Sometimes it's been very lonely and then sometimes it's been incredibly social and... Well, I think this all speaks to why we need a break, right? This is our neighbor's cat, Miley. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, a little wee kiss there. So there's been some positives moving into this new house. Yeah, we get a, um, a part-time pet, 
Great neighbours. suits our lives now. Our wonderful neighbours. Like the best neighbours we could ever ask for. It took <laughs> a year and three separate mortgage brokers to finally get um, approval from the bank, which was hard. And ultimately, it was actually a viewer of ours who reached out to us, who is a mortgage broker. And I truly don't think we would be here if it wasn't for him. His name is Jack at Eightfold. If you live in New Zealand, doesn't matter where in New Zealand, we did it all remotely. I really recommend you, you chat to him if you're looking to buy a house. So, and I know that Jack watches, so thank you, Jack. <laughs> and yeah, I think we just want to say thank you to all the people who have helped us. Our families who have just been so supportive. Um, yeah, totally. I think they've also enjoyed the holiday destination. <laughs> the, people, the people that reached out to us when we got here, so many people reached out to us and um, we're become good friends with a lot of them. Yeah, the friends that we've made. I, I feel so lucky how many friends we have made in one year. You, you probably know who you are if, if you're watching this. <laughs> you know who you are yeah. and you're awesome and we really appreciate you, so thank yeah, you. 100%. And of course, we're exceptionally thankful to you guys. Everyone who oh, watches yeah. the videos, everyone who has signed up to our Patreon. If it wasn't for this channel, we wouldn't be able to make this move. It just wouldn't happen. If you guys didn't watch our videos every week, if people on Patreon didn't support us, um, we wouldn't get sponsorships like Squarespace, we wouldn't get companies giving us tools. Our business wouldn't still be going and we wouldn't have this life if it wasn't for you guys and it's yeah. hard to express how grateful we are, but um, we are really grateful. So we're going to take the next three, three weeks? weeks or so yeah. off. So that's the first time we've stopped working in about a year and a half. We've been yeah. away, but we've always taken work with us. But we need a true break now. Yeah. And also this is a time in New Zealand where a lot of people take a break. Um, so we figured, let's join them. We've got to do something about these birds now. We're... I'm not trying to turn my channel into a bird rescue program. But we have another bird rescue operation. We started nesting up on the roof and we were waiting for the birds to grow up and then fly out of the gutter and then we could seal it back up and then be done with it. But in the meantime, the birds have managed to fall down the wall and they're stuck. They're stuck in there. It's just when you say, that's it, we're done for the year. You have to smash a hole in your jib and save some birds. Hey, <laughs> 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 There's two. Can you open the cage? First one's in. Oh, there's some dead ones. There's lots of dead ones in there. Oh, no. But not of those. Oh, well, there's different ones. Old ones. It shed on me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? I got a horse so you can come water. Oh my god. It's thirsty. This is amazing. Sorry, we tiger worms. Eat that worm, come on. Does it need it to be digested? You know how it would Oh no. There you are. Hey <laughs> <laughs> the worms. Eva, Eva, you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, knew yeah. Eva would know what to do. <laughs> um, All right, we don't want these things in our house, so I've built them a house of their own. The birds are currently over there in the cage, and the Parents have started treating them like they're in a nest and they're feeding them, dropping food in the cage and flying away again. So it tells me they're not rejecting them. And this Steve Irwin experience is over right after I relocate the birds. One at a time. Do they need some sort of like padding in there? Yeah, probably. Oh. Oh. Mum's going nuts.
It's working! It's working, Jen! We saved the birds! This is not how we thought we'd be spinning our birthday! <laughs>